I'm sorry, I'm just gonna leave that mug just going off constantly. There we go. Thank you, Spirit. Okay, much love and many blessings. It's your favorite guru, Lotus. And we'll be definitely continuing on with the Pisces. Then the last but not least, um, we'll be um, dropping that divine wisdom for the air signs. So I hope you enjoyed the wisdom that's been just really permeating during the season for Pisces. Uh, for everything that's led up to this point, as well as with the readings and what you've been experiencing in your own waking space. Um, I will say that this Pisces season, Pisces season overall can be a very fun time or a flowing time. I think that in this 2022 year, it's been one of the more challenging Pisces seasons that we've experienced as a collective because of the things that we've been, this Pisces season, Pisces tends to pull the veil over situations, but it's almost like this time Pisces season has been pulling the veil back or showing just how much energy is real and not real in situations. So a lot of us have been being forced to see uncomfortable things or just come to terms with a lot of cognitive dissonance or just things that we didn't know that we would have to accept because we were we had a way to kind of numb the senses so to speak um with with that being the case uh i do i will say that for for this challenge like the good news pisces is a confirmation that the spring is going to be um good to you and the rest of the year is going to be good to you because uh this this beginning quarter especially Pisces season has bared the brunt of a lot of 
just basically chewing the fat, so to speak. Like, it just is what it is, and it's this, and there's no sugar coating it. Um, we are used to being able to apply a little sugar in the situations, and this Pisces season has not been allowing for a lot of sweeteners. So you're not necessarily enjoying what it is that is coming forth. So I want to move on to air signs. So that means that we're going to really be covering uh, Gemini's, you know, obviously Gemini's, Libra's, and Aquarius's. So a lot of winds of change, a lot of uh, movements and wanting to move in a way that gives you passion for purpose. Um, you've been kind of moving, but there has not necessarily been the most passion and purpose in the things that um, you have been experiencing during this time. I want to pull this collective message for the overall air signs um, because there is a lot of I'm feeling things within the heart. I'm also feeling things within my root. Um, so there's a it's not so much that they're connected, but they're your you as air signs as a collective whole are paralleling these two things. And it's kind of like, OK, if it makes me happy in the in my heart, it makes me happy in my root, then I'm going to pursue it. Um, there's almost like a tunnel vision as it relates to that. Um, I believe that this is happening because, oh, this must be Gemini that I'm thinking on because I'm feeling a polarity. So, yeah, let, let, definitely let me, um, I'm going to definitely save that one. But let me pull this message for air signs because I'm feeling these shifts all over. But there's a pull within the heart as well as in the root chakra. And there's some dividing. Um, may not necessarily just be Gemini, but just the, the division between the, the head space and the heart space. Um, and trying to bridge those two things to a point of convergence. Or, or a point of something that is solid that we can agree on. For you, um, air signs, you can radically change your results by shifting your beliefs. So this does have um, some things to do with your higher mind. I am feeling this tug of war between the root and the heart chakra. Um, and that energy as it feeds up is most likely affecting your uh, throat chakra or what you express out in the world and what you think. You may not actually be considering a deeper meaning. So I am feeling a, kind of like a stall in the throat chakra. And the throat is where we think and take in data. Um, but the third eye is where we comprehend data. So are you taking in or are you actually comprehending it? You're coming across good plans and good ideas, but are these good plans and ideas good for you? Or is this just information? Are we just following the model of success? Or are we applying and cultivating and tailoring what we see as the model of success to our model of our life? Okay, so that a mouthful there. Uh, with that, definitely want to roll into um, Gemini or placements. Um, for anyone coming in, um, if you see my post, uh, tomorrow I will be doing one card pools at 6 uh, p.m. Um, I'm building actually the list now, and it's actually very convenient for anyone who wants to get in. Um, that way you do guarantee that your position and your card pool and your message is uh, lined up for you at that time. So I will be building the list uh, for anybody that uh, does donate. Just definitely put in the notes um, for the cash app, um, you know, your Instagram handle and that just to confirm that you actually um, made that donation. So I will be doing carpools because, you know, as we move through this Pisces season, there's been a lot of emotional release, um, adjustments, washovers and breakthroughs. We may not necessarily be realizing that these things are those things, but these shifts and movements are happening so that we're not stagnant. So something had to happen in that regard to make these shifts. So especially is important to see how we're. Are we having mindfulness of where we're at at the time so that we can truly make sure that we're pivoting along our our um, our path in a way that makes sure that we're not getting off the rails? So I'm going to. Uh, where is that? Fuck. So, yes, um, if you are definitely you have between now and tomorrow, I'll be definitely doing it up until that point. You can actually do it during the live as well, but it's actually a little bit more convenient um just for the smoothness and the channeling um that if you do it before and plus it also guarantees that you don't miss your um your message 
But uh, if you have any questions, definitely DM or just go to my bio link and you can definitely make that uh, contribution there, that love donation there. And your spirit will be more than thankful for that energy. So I look forward to connecting to each and every one of you during that time. You know, it'll definitely be an amazing Venus day. Uh, but for now, let's definitely tap in and channel this energy. I want to pull a powerful message for the air signs, one that can be related to, one with rhetoric and be made plain for the masses. Take the complex and the higher wisdom and make it simple and something palatable for everyone's stomachs and mental awareness. Moving on to Gemini, the sign of mutable air. A lot of rapid, spontaneous movements. Air um, deals a lot with thoughts and changes and creating slick movement. And because Gemini is ruled by Mercury, that's a very fast moving planet. It makes a lot of rotations um, around the Earth. So there's a lot of movement, like high vibrational movement, quick movement. Um, movement where the movement happens so fast that you may not necessarily be thinking before you actually create the movement. Um, so Gemini is very good at jumping around and getting into different things. Um, it is the thinker, that's why it's the third house. So um, there's a lot of thought processes and, and um, collecting of data information and what are we doing what comes across our energy field. You know, we deal with third house, we deal with not just the data, but we also deal with commerce. It's the exchange of the data. Like, what are you doing with that data? It's like, okay, are you just knowing it? Or am I applying? Are you book smart? Or are you actually putting it into a situation that actually means something? So we have that energy, third house vibes, Mercury ruling planet. And we have this sign of the twin, this archetype of the twin, this duality where we are dealing with also, it's interesting in the sun season of Pisces that we're also dealing with another one that's kind of a twin in a situation or just that first and the last. There's a polarity where one thing is here and another thing is on the other end. So this creates an even broader sense of expansion um, because for you, Gemini, a lot of times you sit above emotions anyway. Air is kind of light, so it kind of rides above emotions. And what that kind of looks like in your energy field in your waking life is you kind of take action before you necessarily are more involved or entrenched into the matter or you really have a, a greater understanding of the situation. Um, one of the benefits is your conscious mind is actually very active. So you do remember things even when um, it seems like you shouldn't actually be aware of things. Um, I actually don't even know if I read this message because I was just channeling. Yeah, so you, for you, Gemini, you heal by releasing, not by suppressing. What emotions do you feel what emotions do you need to feel? So that's a very funny question to ask because that's generally the like the last thing that you generally are, are typically doing. And like I said, you sit above air sits above emotion. So it's kind of like, well, I'm just kind of blowing with the breeze and just kind of doing. But that's fine when you just need to get something going and not be weighed down by what people think. Um, can I do this? Will I succeed at this? But once you get into it, then there is a need to actually take a consideration of the things involved and the deeper things beneath the surface. On a subconscious level, um, you've been doing a lot of movement, but you are not necessarily paying attention to the patterns that are in the sand. And you don't necessarily know your passion for purpose and why you're doing what you're doing. So it feels purposeless. It feels like you can do it, but it's like, why? But you're just doing it anyway because you need to do something you need to feel something so that's definitely tap into the reality and the illusions of our situations because pisces um when we're dealing with mercury energy um illusions work best the greatest illusions work best when we don't take that pause to consider what's in front of us to use discernment and when we're moving rapidly we're not necessarily making a plan and sometimes you're guilty um gemini of not necessarily making a plan you may look good in your your chaos or not chaos you may look good in your spontaneousness but there are times when you actually do need a solid plan as far as seeing the long-term goal and vision you make a lot of short-term goals and plans and because of that you are left wondering why you don't um you're not getting further than the board just right in front of you vision boards are actually kind of cool though but you still actually need to see something in three dimensions not in one dimension so in the illusions, we have four of wands, four of sticks. So this is definitely a lot of great feelings. Are we being honest and committed? Are we having a great marriage? This is, are you really committed? Is there a strong union in your matters? And I'm not, I'm not feeling the most commitment. I feel a half step. You haven't brought in all the necessary things that will solidify this into place. 
you're showing up, but the passion is not there. You're not being loyal to what it is that you decided you want. And by loyalty, you may be feeling it in your heart, but you haven't actually expressed it. Or you're giving that energy to something else. You're, it's almost like you're cheating on, the, on what it is that you truly want. And you can't really trust yourself in that regard because maybe you've just been denied for too long or maybe you just simply haven't actually thought about it. I'm really feeling also in a sense that you're not necessarily believing that you have the capability to push through the resistance. You know, you're kind of light in air and you don't necessarily, you may instigate drama, but you don't necessarily like drama as it relates to the things that you're believing in. And that's why we see the eight of, um, eight of sticks. So there's definitely a lot of feelings um, to this matter. You may actually not even uh, need to put on... You're not committed to what it is that you're doing because you don't feel a loyalty to it. You don't f know if you can be loyal because you haven't found yourself actually stopping or taking that moment to stop. Once something actually gets going for you, you're on to kind of the next thing. So there's a wrestling with yourself and you're not necessarily willing to fight. It's almost as if you feel... <sighs> Yeah, eight of sticks. It's almost as if you decided to completely stop in the situation. You're either completely in your head about this matter and to the point that it's creating an inhibition. I think that you've been met with this before and you don't want to go down this road again. Um, but this releasing, you have to release this and not suppress it because you're being brought back to this situation for sticks of a situation that wasn't properly closed out. You left it hanging. The matter was left hanging. Maybe you didn't get the closure that you needed on the situation or with the person. Or maybe you just ran away before it actually had the chance for things to develop or know what the what the long term plan was. As a result of being met, being met back with this eight of sticks, you now are unsure of what to do. And, and that's really not like you from a mental space, because usually even if you don't want to do something, you will have an idea of just the options of what it is you should be considering. So this is coming, the fact that you're not willing to do that or that you believe this, it means that you feel that you're not in the advantage position. You feel as if you're fighting up. You feel that you're, if you're really outnumbered or don't even have the tools necessary to combat the situation. Um, if you, uh, from a polarity standpoint, if you have been feeling this way, um, on the lower vibrational end, um, I see the Gemini that is running from people that they have not necessarily apologized to or a matter that they created the, the buildup in and you left it sitting where it was. So now that it's being reintroduced, you feel like you're going to have to go to bat and you don't necessarily want to do that. But this happens when you put things off and you suppress things and you don't face situations and you end up becoming jaded and you don't really know how you want to feel because it's like, well, I don't want to feel that. You just keep suppressing all this stuff. So you feel all this stuff unconsciously, but you're not actively allowing it to come forth. So it's such a myriad. This Pisces season is not really being kind to you because Pisces automatically brings out these feelings, whether you are aware of it or not. And now you got this kind of this gray, ambiguous emotional feel this great energy feel of happy sad i don't know yes i might go all this shit and it's like it's time for you to look in the mirror and face the things and situations that you have been afraid to deal with because you actually have this opportunity you're not enjoying what you're around because you're constantly thinking about these things and you're feeling numb to the situation and you're actually in a really good position to enjoy what's about to transpire i i would want to say transpire but it's really about to transpire it's, it's like transpiring about to transpire but spirit is waiting for you to literally decide okay i don't want this let me handle this and you have all the power to do that you just have to come up with a plan and be honest. You're a very social sign. You love to socialize. So you need to use your gifts and your glib and your mental prowess and adaptability to actually address the situation. You just simply have to want to. So decide that you want to because you're feeling this. You're feeling the, the cutoff. You're feeling as if you're feeling the guilt of having not done more. So it's time to do more. Don't hang yourself up. I hope that this is resonating with you, Gemini, and that you are finding a way for this energy to come forth and not hold back the things that you know that you need to step into and to release because you have the power to do that.
I'm really rooting for you, and I hope that this resonates with you. Definitely drop a comment, like, and share. And share this with a Gemini that needs to hear this message so that they can feel those winds of change in a profound way. All right, much love, many blessings, and Ashe. Moving on to Libra. Okay, so Libra is a very interesting sign. Um, Libra has it. Libra is funny because I love their aesthetic. You know, it's a very... Uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Libra is very similar to Taurus because they're ruled by the same sign of Venus. But whereas Taurus is Earth and focuses more on the beauty and the aesthetic as it relates to the physical comforts, you know, physical touch and what am I receiving? What am I getting? What's tangibly happening? Happening. Libra's Venus placement is more about the aesthetic and the mental headspace. So how things look, how things are presented. How are you saying? How are you articulating things? How How is the presentation? And because Libra is also about seventh house vibe, so that's relationships. But not like Gemini, where it's like just the social connecting. It's seventh house vibes, which is long-term relationships. What is this turning into? What has this developed into? So... Libra cares a lot about what it's getting from the connection and the people and the opportunities that it's connected to and more particularly how it relates to those people because it's not just about the connection but it's also how it's seen and how those connections make them feel because it's, remember it's about the aesthetic and the beauty it's quantity it's quality over quantity it's really about what it is that they get and it has to be in perfect balance so you've been looking you look for perfect balances in situations so uh, this Pisces season it is very interesting for you because you're trying to find the balance in something that is very vast and big for you, um, especially with something that's also ever-changing and adapting. So your skills are a little bit teetered right now. So you've been having to find ways to balance your emotional rhythm and scales um, because really the Libra scale is a passive and active trait because it's always working to come back to tone. So while it doesn't take action, Libra is a passive active sign because when it's on tilt, it'll still put in the energy to come back to tone. So it's both passive and active at the same time. So for you, Libra, um, your intuitive message as we're channeling, I'm definitely feeling a uh, whole body, your whole energy field is actually vibrating right now. It's not necessarily a particular um, chakra because there has been stimulations within the chakra like it's been a lot of heart stimulation but for you there's actually a whole body stimulation you may be feeling a kundalini energy up your back this is most likely dealing with the fact that your entire you're dealing with an entire flush and your entire process has to change from what you've originally been doing okay out of the woods you made it through what newness is emerging so yes we are feeling this kind of this whole body there's this sense that um it's not just one thing this is a take it and leave it this is a you got to take the whole package type of situation so you've come out of a space where you had to travel or transition through something that you had to leave just as much behind as you brought with you um to make it to where you are and now you are deciding because of this newness you have to do new things. You can't just evolve and then use the old indoctrinations or the old programming or the old updates to move now. So there is, a, in a sense, a pause, uh, that patented Libra pause, and you are taking this opportunity to be like, okay, what's really going on? Because last season, there was this need, you realized you were doing, I want to say doing too much. There was, you weren't seeing things, you know, there was some blockages in the third eye. But there was a sense that you had to give out a lot of charity. So now you're kind of like, okay, this is a new platform. This is a new plateau for me. I didn't necessarily expect to be here. So now that I'm here, I didn't, it's not that I didn't believe that I would get here. But now that I'm here, I realize that there's something different required than what it is that I imagined from the space of trying to achieve this place. And now my mindset is actually different now. So I got to come back to the table to see what's actually required for me to maintain and manage what's going on. That your ascended self, your higher self has probably been trying to, your ascended self has been trying to communicate with you. You've uh, been having dreams or just been having some type of signs or omens where it's like, am I making the best decisions? Am I doing the best thing? Am, is this what I should be doing? Or should, why does it feel like what I'm normally doing or the normal routine is something that needs to be reevaluated or self-checked? 
an illusion, ten of coins, father of sticks. Okay. So yeah, so again, this is definitely a very strong play on this is a very strong play, ten of coins about what we have before us and what we're looking at there's a lot of abundance and energy that's been brought to the forefront i see a lot of people around a lot of family around a lot of things that you want around that you trust and know and that it supports you all the things that you need to have a solid foundation at home are here but there's issues with this um most likely this has a lot to do with the energy that brought it into being um you're not able to enjoy it just yet but you feel like this is how it's supposed to be because Everybody is smiling. Everybody's around. But there's something that's being missed. So it's time for you to get out of the woods. It's time for you to get out of the woods. It's time for you to get out of the space where you are not seeing the trees. You are not seeing the details of the situation. There's something your spirit wants you to see more of in detail so that you can better channel your energy for the people as well as yourself that could benefit from it. Because... The Ten of Coins is in this position of illusion. It means that we're looking around and seeing everything is fine. And in the physical, everything may be fine. Like, you know, the solid foundations, you know, bills are being paid. Like, all that good shit. You know, everyone, like, is happy. But in reality, Father of Sticks, there, there is something that is still igniting within you. And this is happening because there's still something more that you feel that you need to do. It's like this was just the first part. So now it's like, okay, I can't just sit here because this Ten of Coins is also knowing that you've arrived at what it is that you need to arrive at, but that you've just arrived at a comfortable state. It's worth celebrating, don't get me wrong, but there's a lot more to do and there's a lot more you have to do because this relates to you and the authoritative figures in the home that actually are able to inspire and create those changes um, and those shifts to make more breakthroughs happen. The people are counting on you during this time so it's time for you to count on yourself so you need to actually take that alignment pause you made it out of the woods so you need to do that mindfulness check and as this mindfulness check comes into play it's not something that you need to answer during this time because i'm feeling that this is something that you are going to be thinking on as you're still moving through the pisces season because it's very personal um as it relates to you i feel that like i said that whole body activation so there's a lot of things that you're re-questioning and um, attuning to because your entire energy field is going through a flush so i actually can't even tell you what it is that you're becoming because it's actually a little bit more than what you're used to so you may need to actually do some mirror work and connect with your higher self and trust in your higher self that you are moving along your calling and that the next steps um you have the power to create that within the reality so that you don't get complacent i hope that this is resonating with you libra that you have found the fruits of your labor during this time of the Pisces season when there's been challenges and that you um, also most importantly um, definitely pat yourself on the back for not giving in to being the legend that everyone is kind of focusing on you to be because once we become the legend that everyone is believing in us then we get lost in that and then we get caught up in our own hype. Do not get caught up in your own hype during this time, Father of Sticks. Do not get caught up in your own hype. You have made it through. Now it's time to decide what's new that you want to do. If you know any uh, Libras that definitely are resonating with this message or need to hear this message, definitely drop a comment, like, or share. And make sure that you have mindfulness as you move through the rest of the Pisces season with success and clarity and mindfulness for your own positive results. All right. Uh, much love, many blessings, and Ashe. Moving on to uh, Aquarius. Um, yeah, Aquarius, 12th house, uh, 11th house vibes there. So we're talking about the collective here, um, what you're doing for humanity and what you're doing to radically strike out on your own, what you're doing to create justice for yourself in a world where the odds might be stacked against you. Um, there's been a lot stacked against you in this Pisces season, uh, but not necessarily as far as bad things per se. It's just, it's been more, it hasn't been necessarily like, okay, like, dang, I lost this person or my money's not right. But it's been more like things are good, but it's like the problems you have from success that have been kind of taking place. Like, you know, more money, more problems. It's like you've been dealing with the problems, a lot of problems of making progressive movements and... It, it's been a little frustrating, but I will say that the worst of it is past, is passing. You're getting past the worst of it. 
and anything else is just kind of cleaning up you know dotting i's crossing t's things of that nature and it's starting to look good so you're starting to feel really good and what's what's really dope about this is that what was once really bothering you um and frustrating you is starting to just feel like it was a a really healthy challenge for you when you look back on it and look at what it what it pushed you to do prioritize self-image and care self-love and care when do you feel the most nurtured and cared for so this for you aquarius has a lot to do with how you've been finding the things that bring life out of you and activate you i'm, I'm feeling a sacral chakra energy because there's the, the energies of passion and imagination and there's some flow going on so there's a lot of water um, playing on that sacral and that Pisces energy so you need to ask yourself during this time Aquarius like how have you been allowing yourself to be passionate have you been doing too much for the sake of others and not actually stepping into your personal calling because prioritize self care you're a little tired and burnt out so it's not just about doing the things that give you joy as far as like okay you've been working on this stuff you've been building up this cloud and things of that nature i'm talking about the things that don't require anything to be done for somebody else that are genuinely making you happy have you patted yourself on the back have you really taken a moment to appreciate what you've created what you put forth into the world are you seeing the amazingness that other people are truly appreciative of you for if they're not saying it even just in an unsung way are you aware of that powerful energy of that amazing energy that you have that's been just channeling out on tap during this time so aquarius like i said well we're dealing with those uh uranus vibes so radical change sometimes not necessarily knowing why something was done but when it's done it's done in a big way and it's done in a sudden way um, nothing can necessarily conform you. You may, uh, a lot of times with Aquarius, there are going to be things that are not normal. You know, um, you may not be the typical housewife. You may be running an a, a, a entrepreneur. You might be a, a, a woman that's uh, creating a new pathways for other women's empowerment. You know, um, you might be hustling, doing um, all types of things that no one's ever considered before, trying to invent something. It's like you come to the table with so many different things that, it's unseen before but when it's presented it's still just as good if not better than what's normally the status quo so you've been breaking status quo and now you're being presented back with yourself and asking how are you breaking old bonds that keep you in the status quo because you've been only breaking the status quo for the things around you and how you um, project out into the world with your processes but have you been breaking your status quo have you been breaking your karmic patterns and OCD natures uh, within yourself are you allowing yourself to feel emotionally light and in harmony with your being? If you've been clashing, this means that you've been doing the same pattern over again. And, and honestly, leading up to this point now, I can safely say that a lot of you as Aquarius have been suffering under playing yourself small for the sake of not shining too high or upsetting a situation. So with this karmic uh, come back around where now we're in this Pisces energy and you're being presented with things that have been suppressed, um, what is it that you truly want as those suppressed desires and suppressed fears come to the surface what is it that you truly want so in the illusions father of knives a lot of mental headspace um definitely feeling that you know the need to change or that we have to continue to hold the same structure because if we don't we will lose our foothold. There's a strong sense that you feel like you'll lose your foothold, but there's an inversion, which is why it's in the position of illusions because it's your, the power that you have is actually within your radical thinking. Like you don't have to necessarily answer to anyone. So if you haven't been getting the support of things that you need, it means that you have to forge another way. Um, there's been too much having to explain yourself to other people. So you've been getting what you want done, but because you've been having to constantly explain yourself or constantly justify your actions is very draining it's very mentally draining it's like you're accomplishing what you want but you're working overtime and only being paid a regular a regular salary that's just going to burn you out so in the illusion it's feeling like we really have to commit to this and stick to this but in reality you don't have to honor this friendship you are actually the one bringing six of baskets you are actually the one that's putting all the good shit into this sometimes we subject ourselves like i understand sometimes 
even well, authentic or not, like when we subject ourselves to connections for platonic reasons, because we might not like this person, but for business reasons, we, you know, do what we have to do because it's an exchange. It's quid pro quo. It's, you know, it's a truce, whatever. But this is confirmation of spirit, six of baskets, that you actually don't need to. The people are actually benefiting from you. It's not you benefiting from them. And the relationship has been carried on longer because you thought that this was necessary uh, necessary to do. You know, you thought that you had to act, but now your acting days are over, so it's fuck them niggas for life. So you have to realize when you say that, the reason you're able to say that is because you don't need them the thing, the situation, the circumstances, or the energy anymore. You have everything that you need, Six of Baskets, because all of that energy, all of that that rose up from you, came from you. And it's who you are that's summoning this energy. It's who you are that's creating these things that are happening now. It's who you are that's making the synchronicities happen in such a divine way that nobody knows how this shit is coming together the way it is. This is you. So I want to keep that, that short because, uh, especially as it relates to self-love messages, a lot of you Aquarius, you already, as, a, as the Aquarius collective, you already know, you're already feeling what it is you need to do. And this is a time for you to take that personal pause to, whether it's to write or to petition and to do that self-check with yourself and ask yourself how you've been giving to people in situations that have made you feel like you're the underdog or you, you have to give more you're you've been selling yourself and your value short on your stocks and because of that people are kind of getting over on you you're getting over on yourself really because um it's really a mental game and when you come when you take that pause and come back refreshed you'll actually see that you actually had a lot more available and more output available than you even had um up to this point um definitely powerful message um we want to, I want you, um, Aquarius is across the board to definitely have mindfulness as you continue to wrap up this Pisces sun season, that the things that you've been feeling have been out of reach for you that just seem ridiculously hard to believe in. It, it's because you have a very grand picture in your mind and that's amplified by the Pisces, um, lens of perspective or perspective, um, and it's amplifying that even more. So you're kind of like, whoa, like, all right, am I asking for too much? Am I trying to really pull this off? Yes. But the other side of that is it's actually okay. It's not too much. It's actually just right. So know that and keep moving and keep pushing and keep committing to that. All right. Much love, many blessings. And Ashe, that was Aquarius. I hope this definitely resonated with you. Um, if it has, definitely drop a like, comment, and share. Make sure to share this with an Aquarius that needs to hear this message, that needs to be empowered, and needs to make sure that they're even considering, hesitating, or tapping into inhibitions that they continue to make those forward steps for themselves as it relates to what's best for themselves. Okay, much love, many blessings. Definitely make sure to check out the, uh, the second part um, when I post them on YouTube. Um, those are my thoughts. You have a wonderful day and enjoy the rest of this uh, Pisces chart season.